Hey everyone, welcome back to Hawk in the Lens. I'm excited to give you a challenge update and then talk about some of the incidental birds that I've seen over the past month or so. Now, incidental bird sightings are when you come across some species that you were on a record, but you weren't going on originally for the purposes of birding, you just happened to come across them, thus the name incidental. I've had a lot of those over the past month. You might have noticed I haven't posted a ton of videos in March. It's just because I was super busy, had a spring break type trip with my family. They came to visit me in Utah and we went to Arizona too. But because I was busy and doing those trips does not mean I stopped birding. I walk along a river near my house, I see all kinds of bird species, I'll still make a checklist, note them out, even if I don't have my large camera to make a video with me. And then on the trip, I also saw some really cool species too. So let's set a baseline of where we are before this video. So at the end of my last video, when we were trying to complete the Migration Madness Challenge, we were sitting at 55 out of 130 birds for my Utah Birds Challenge. For those of you that don't know, I'm trying to see every single species in this Birds of Utah field guide. Like I mentioned, there's 130 species listed in here. Um, they're supposed to be common species to Utah. Some of them are gonna be a little difficult though, I anticipate, but that's what makes the challenge so fun. Just a quick note, if you ever wanna check in on my progress in the challenge, it's always linked to my videos. I have a page on my website dedicated to the challenge and it shows the birds I've seen as well as the ones I have yet to see. So feel free to check that out if you ever wanted to check in how I'm doing. Just to note that these were incidental encounters. I wasn't planning on birding, so I didn't have my super telephoto lens with me. So some of the footage is not gonna be the best. I did still manage to grab some stuff, usually with my phone or my other lens that I had with me. So I've seen a few birds here and there, including some birds on my feeder, like lesser goldfinch, everybody's seen those. But I've also seen some great tilted grackle outside of restaurants. Just checking my list, that is one of the birds I need, so that'll count towards the challenge. Earlier in March, I was walking along the river and I saw a belted kingfisher by those nests that I pointed out in one of my past videos. So that was incredible. It flew away so quick though and I'm really bummed out that I couldn't even get a quick phone video of it. Also within the brush, I saw a couple American tree sparrows. So those both are gonna count towards the challenge as well. Then we dive into my week long trip with my family. We started down in Southern Utah in Zion and Bryce Canyon National Park. We first saw a few Woodhouse's scrub jays while on a hike. That was pretty cool. I've already seen those this year though, so that doesn't add anything to the challenge. And then within some of the trees, I got a lifer. We heard them first and then I was able to see them very briefly. The footage I have here is not great. It was so hard to get them on camera, but if you listen, I'm pretty positive these are Buick's wrens. Transitioning on to a new day, we were hiking within Bryce Canyon and we came across some beautiful Stellar's Jay. I still love their coloration. And then we got another bird that counts towards the challenge, bringing us up to 58. We have a Townsend Solitaire. Super glad to get that one on camera. The following day we were back at Zion and hike in Angel's Landing. On the way to the hike, we saw some brief glimpses from the shuttle of some wild turkey. Definitely saw some other common species too, like this spotted towhee calling from the tree. And throughout the day, we heard so many canyon wren, but I never saw one, so I'm not gonna count that towards any of my checklists, unfortunately. But near one of the bus stops, I did have a white-breasted nuthatch land right in front of me, and even with my shorter lens, I got a pretty good shot of it. Real quick, while I was editing, I realized I forgot to mention I also saw a ruby-crowned kinglet within Zion National Park, but didn't get any good shots of it. So we're going to count it towards the challenge, but unfortunately no footage. That wraps up the Utah section of the trip. So my next couple of birds could be lifers, but they won't count towards this Birds of Utah challenge because I need to see them within Utah. So in Arizona, we saw a ton of house sparrows. They were everywhere from the restaurants to the visitor center of Grand Canyon but also near the visitor center by one of the parking lots in Grand Canyon, I got a lifer. A red nape sapsucker was drilling away at one of the trees. It flew right in front of me, saw it land on the tree, stared at it for a while. It took me a bit to figure out what kind of woodpecker sapsucker it was, but I'm pretty confident this is a red nape sapsucker, which I was super jacked about. Towards the end of one of my birding walks, I came across a group of California quail. I saw about three of them at first, and then around the bend, I saw two more. That was super awesome, such a unique bird that I was really excited to see. Definitely saw some species too I've already seen, such as downy woodpecker among others. And then just last week, I got my very first warbler of the year. 
and another lifer. We have the yellow rumped warbler. The footage is hard to tell that's what it is, but I saw it through the binoculars and I'm very confident on that ID. Then just yesterday, I was out birding as well. Saw this mallard with a very white coloration, which I believe I heard is like a domesticated type of mallard. They're bred that way apparently. So that was a new sight for me, even though I've already seen mallards before. I got another yellow rumped warbler on camera with just my phone. And we'll end the video where we started it with another crate-tailed grackle in the parking lot. So with those species, I got a couple new lifers, and I believe that pushes our challenge up to 59 species out of 130. So I'm super excited about that. I think I'm doing pretty good so far. I got some species that I thought would be difficult, like the great horned owl and the burrowing owl done already. There are some species that are definitely worrying me. This winter, I didn't get a black rosy finch, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get that this year. We'll try again as winter comes around, because I think they're only really around in winter. I'm also nervous about the various types of hawks that this challenge wants me to do, as well as bohemian wax wings. Thanks for checking in on this update video of my Birds of Utah challenge, as well as just coming along and enjoying my content all over my channel. I'd encourage you to subscribe if you don't wanna miss any more of these videos as I progress towards completing this challenge. Thank you as always for watching my videos and I'll see you in the next one.